Hi guys, Tom Bell here from Revenue Tactics, your dedicated affiliate marketing academy. And today, I'm gonna to be answering one of the questions that I get emailed all the time actually, from aspiring affiliate marketers. What types of softwares and tools do I need to start my affiliate business? And what do you use, Tom? So as much as I enjoy hearing from you guys, I thought, why not make a video on this? and answer all those questions once and for all. So before you get settled in guys, if you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really want to grow the channel a lot more this year and keep bringing you as much content as I can. Now, when I was a newbie affiliate marketer many years ago and trying to make my mark on the industry, I remember feeling a little bit overwhelmed almost by the sheer amount of softwares that were out there for affiliate marketing. And I wasn't sure about which direction to turn. And to be honest, that was a little while ago now and the tech side of the industry has been expanding rapidly since then. So there's even more choice now. So if you are feeling a little bit daunted by that, I'd be feeling exactly the same way as well in your position. Now, the good news is, although there's tons of weird and wonderful software out there, there's only a few tools that you really need in my opinion. So I'm going to go through exactly what they are and what I use as I'm giving you these answers. I'm also going to assume that you're looking to run paid traffic, which is what most top affiliates are prioritizing these days. So the first tool that is an absolute must in any media buyer's arsenal is a good solid tracker. You need to be able to closely track the elements in your campaign that are working and that aren't working. I talk a lot on the channel about split testing different ads, different landing pages, and maybe different offers potentially as well, even within just one campaign. And if you test widely enough, what you'll see is those ads, those landing pages are gonna convert extremely differently. Now I've got a ton of data that I could show you where I've just changed a single image on the landing page, and that's increased the ROI by 50% or more on some occasions. But if you're not tracking data in this way, not only are you less likely to find a winning campaign because it would be more difficult for you to run profitably, you'll actually be leaving a lot of additional money on the table as well when it comes to scaling and optimizing at a deeper level further down the line. So which tracker should you use? Well, I can tell you that I've tried pretty much all of them over the years. So when I was doing a lot of pop traffic a decade ago, I was using Prosper 202, then moved to CPV Labs, I've used Red Track, I've used ClickMagic, all great products, no doubt about that. But since this video is about my tech stack today, I can tell you that the only external tracker that I'm using right now is volume. They're absolutely fantastic. The interface is really clean, it's really easy to use, the design's great, and the loading speed of your redirect links that you'll put into your campaigns are extremely fast, which is vital. So I'm going to pop a link in the description below for volume. They were actually able to come up with a little deal for you guys, my subscribers, where you get $6,000 of ad spend for free in their Automizer facility, which is where you can pass all of your cost data from your traffic source via API back to the tracker so you can see everything in one place. So if you want to take advantage of that great deal in the link below, then I'd recommend going for the profit plan and that will be suitable for 99% of the businesses watching this video. But regardless of which tracker you're currently using or aspects you're looking for in your research process, if you're still in that phase, it needs to redirect your links quickly and it needs the ability to create multi-column reports so you can look at your data effectively. And it also needs to have at least a basic level of API integration between your affiliate network or your traffic source. The next go-to in my tech stack is a landing page builder. So if you're not familiar with the traditional affiliate marketing approach, in a campaign, instead of sending traffic directly from an ad straight through to the offer, that's called a direct link, you want to direct that traffic from and adds to a basic web page or landing page first that's designed to warm up the user and pre-sell them on whatever that next step is. It could be an e-commerce type of offer or it could be a ClickBank VSL type of offer that I talk about a lot on the channel. So whatever the types of offers you are promoting, it doesn't matter. What is important is that you have a way of creating these pre-sale landing pages that allows you to get up and running quickly. Successful affiliates don't wait around to do things. They don't go away and reflect on which offer to run for weeks on end. They just get on with it and do it. Now for me personally, I can build a basic basic WordPress website, but I'm absolutely not a web developer in any way, shape or form. I can barely write any code at all actually. And the good news is that you don't need to be able to do any of that either. There's so many drag and drop landing page facilities that are out there these days. It's really just not a skill that's necessary for affiliates to be able to do for themselves these days. There might be the odd situation where I hire a developer to code something custom for me that had a very complicated funnel, but honestly, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I'm using a page building facility pretty much every single time for my campaigns. And the page builder that I love to use is Convertry. And the reason I use Convertry is because of one single word in particular, speed. Now, there's lots of amazing landing pages builders out there for sure. I'm sure you've heard of ClickFunnels, there's Landerlab, the Systems.io, but Convertry is the fastest landing page builder out there and that's why I use it. 
The load and speed of your landing pages in an affiliate campaign is almost as important as what you put in them. Amazon performed a study 10 years ago where they discovered that for every 100 milliseconds of delay in loading times, they had a drop of 1% in conversions. That's huge. Now, that was 10 years ago now, so just imagine what that stat would be now with people's attention spans being at an all-time low and getting lower and lower every single year. Now, to you, those stats might not sound like a lot, but there will be some of you watching this video who are running landing pages that are taking one or even two seconds to load for your user. And because of this, you'll be losing conversions and therefore profit. My pages take around 518 milliseconds seconds to load with Convertry, which is going to maximize the amount of prospective customers that I'm going to get through to my offer. So speed is an absolute must for your campaigns, guys. I'm going to pop a link in the description below for a 14-day free trial for Convertry. Test it out. I think you'll be very impressed and you'll be able to see why it's my landing page builder of choice. I'm also going to pop another link under the video too to an interview that I did with their CEO and founder, Andy Fletcher, on modern entrepreneurship. I think you guys would really enjoy that if you haven't seen it already. Now, in terms of speed, speed also has a duality to it. Speed's not not only about the speed of your pages loading, but also speed in getting started. So whichever page builder that you do decide to go with, make sure the software is very responsive and make sure that you have the ability to save a basic page structure for yourself in a template format that you can come back to time and time again. And for those of you out there who prefer to HTML your own pages, just make sure that you have some really fast hosting in place. So a VPS or dedicated server. Those of you who are using a landing page builder facility, that will come with the hosting as part of your plan, so there's no need to worry there. The next tool in my tech stack is a spy tool. This allows me to quickly scan what's going on in the affiliate landscape. I can quickly look at the types of offers or niches that are trending on a particular traffic source. And although I've worked in many, many niches over the years, there are a few that I haven't. So that would definitely be a time where I'd use a spy tool to get a competitive advantage in terms of themes and angles that were working to give me some inspiration for my own campaigns. I also want to be clear that I'm not looking to copy, I'm just looking to gain insight. I'll talk more about why you shouldn't copy in another video another time. So my spy tool of choice is a software called Anstrex, and I use this particularly for native advertising, but it also has some great options for pop, push and TikTok if that interests you. Again, I'll pop a link for that in the description below, guys. Now, to be honest, if you're an affiliate marketer looking to run paid traffic, then a tracker, a landing page builder and a spy tool specific for the traffic source you're looking to run ads on are all you really need to get your business away. That's all I use in terms of software specific to my campaigns and it's all you need to use as well. Don't overcomplicate it and don't overspend on these either. I've met people who seem to have bought every affiliate marketing software in existence almost and they never even opened half of it, so don't be that guy. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it helpful in exploring your own software options. And if you want to see more content just like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to take your affiliate marketing business to new heights this year, be sure to visit us at revenuetactics.com. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.